Hi everyone, Simon here. Welcome to another love story. Let's get underway. This story is about a gentleman by the name of Hans. H-A-N-S. Hans, born in Germany. <clears throat> Father died at a young age. Mum has her own house, no mortgage. Hans has a sister, not sure of her name. From a young age, serious mother's boy. And throughout his life, has not got a clue how to cook, how to clean, how to wash things up, how to do clothes, ironing, nothing at all. Undomesticated. Went through school, a little bit plump, not very clever, and at 16, left school, got a factory job, married a girl from school the following year when he was 17, and they lived with the mum in her house in Germany. Six years married, and the girl divorced him. Main reason, and throughout the rest of this story, Hans was not into aerobic, aerobics at all with the opposite sex or any um, gender, but was totally into solo aerobics, read between the lines. This broke his first marriage, no kids, and at 22, went on to a down the factory job, kept moving factory jobs. The longest job he had was about 10 years in one factory, which later in life would generate him a small little pension. After the marriage breakup, his mother decided that it would be a good idea for him to have his own apartment, condo, in Germany and she purchased one for him and also for his sister. In fact, the sister had a small house, but the mother had enough money to purchase these outright so they didn't have mortgages. But this was going to be their inheritance and a one-off inheritance. So at 22, he moves into his own condo apartment and hasn't got a clue. He's working in a factory. His mother comes in every day not far from her house, cleans, does everything for him. When he finishes work, he goes to her house, mum's house, and eats food, etc., then goes home to sleep. In this fa uh, second factory job, other guys there can see, you know, he's a bit overweight and he's not sociable at all. And one of them has a Philippine wife. How it, this transpires, I am not sure, but somehow he, with his money, saves up money, goes off to the Philippines with a work friend and comes across a work, uh, an agency, a, a dating agency or some form of agency to find a Philippine wife. And he pays the agency and he meets three different Philippine women he picks one that's slightly plump and a bit older than him. He's about 25 years old now. She's 30. Gets on well and travels backwards and forwards over the next six months with mother's approval and buys himself a Thai wife, uh, buys himself a Philippine wife, my apologies. As in, he pays the agency, they sort all the visas, um, work permits and everything and the girl he marries he marries in the Philippines then in Germany a small ceremony and her family he's given some money to he then settles down with this Philippine wife in his condo apartment at the age of 26 again no aerobics in the marriage she gets a job 
he chops and changes over the following years around factories and just basically labouring jobs. Still a bit overweight through this time. Totally cannot, cannot cook, cannot clean, cannot do anything for himself. How he managed to get on holiday in the Philippines and find himself a wife, it's, he must have had a lot of help. But the thing is, this guy, Hans, is a lovely guy. He's a really, got a good heart, really nice guy, soft, pleasant to talk to, really, really nice guy, but very, very naive with life and, and everything. Not sociable, as in going out in the evenings and weekends with people from work. He just stays home. No real hobbies either. So what he got up to, I don't know. Life moves on and Hans gets to the age of 62. And his Philippine wife has had enough. She's cooked for him, she's clean, she's taken care of every single aspect of his life. Again, he kept changing jobs. Maybe it's the aerobics is a big part of the marriage breakup. Again, I don't know. They went on, what, 30 plus years? She'd had enough. And she told him she wanted a divorce. Now, he was 60, 61. He was coming up for a retirement age in Germany, which I believe somewhere between 62 and 65. And he would get the government pension, which will be a thousand pounds a month, 1,200 American dollars, 2,000 Australian dollars, 40,000 Thai baht. And he's also going to get his little pension from a couple of the factories, maybe two, two little pensions, adding up to another 10,000 baht a month. 250 pounds, 300 American dollars. But this Philippine wife of his, because they've been married so long, wanted half of everything. And he didn't agree with that. So for the following three years, they lived in the same house and fought. And then they didn't speak for a week, then they fought. The mother fell out with the Philippine daughter-in-law because of what she was after. And the Philippine wife, after two years, pretty much gave up and said, okay, I'm not gonna get everything. Now, sadly, at this moment in time, Han's mother um, passed away. The, everything she had in her estate, after giving the daughter and hands their apartments back years ago, had left everything else of hers to a local church. So there was nothing to come from that estate to hands or the sister, which was a bit of a shock because Hans was pretty much thinking he would get some money for the future. He wasn't great with money, but he wasn't bad, but he, he wasn't great. The sister kept falling out with Hans and they sort of went their own ways. Now at this point, Hans has got his apartment, he's got his Philippine wife, who's not really speaking to him or they're arguing. And suddenly he can't clean, he can't cook, he can't do anything. And again, another factory, two more, friends have said to him maybe you should try find yourself a Thai partner maybe you should go and live in Thailand maybe you should sell up and move across the other side of the world and find yourself a Thai wife and with your money and savings you could live like a king in the 
the land of smiles, Thailand. Again, naive, listens to what people says. These two other friends had a two week holiday booked in the one place in Thailand that you pretty much don't want to go to for the first time if you are looking for potential wife. And that was Pattaya, an entertainment area. They said to Hans, come with us. Your Philippine wife's not going to do anything. She's not talking to you. You're still trying to get divorced. What have you got to lose? And he agreed. His Philippine wife wasn't happy. He said he was going away on holiday for two weeks. Didn't say where, but she wasn't happy. And he went. He got on a plane with these two so-called friends. Landed in Thailand. They taxied to Pattaya and a reasonable three-star hotel. It wasn't an expensive holiday for the flights and the accommodation, etc. He, working all these different factory jobs and didn't have a mortgage, he had managed to save a few pounds or euros. So money wasn't really too much of a problem for him for a holiday. But on arriving, he had done no homework at all. He had no idea about Thailand, about the culture, about the people, not a clue. And then to be thrust into an entertainment area like Pattaya, where there are thousands of bars and go-go bars and beer bars and so many beautiful women everywhere in Pattaya. This almost put him into a bit of a shock when he arrived and the two guys took him just outside the hotel to a bar. He felt totally out of his comfort zone. As I say, he almost went into shock and he didn't know what to do. Now, the two friends very quickly realized that he was gonna slow their holiday down or mess it up or not gonna be what they wanted. They tried to explain him, to him the different things that happen and how it happens and what happens. Whether he took it in, I don't know. I have no idea who that is behind me. <laughs> so they pretty much dumped him and they said, sorry, we're going to go and do our holiday. You can do what you want. There is um, some apps you can use and get girls to come to you and get friendly with them that way if you don't fancy the bars. He understood technology a little bit and the apps etc made sense. So he's there, the friends have left him. And he opens a few of these apps, goes back to the hotel. Straight away, creates a profile and puts the feelers out and lots of women suddenly start applying to talk to him to meet him. He plucks up the courage and gets a girl to meet him in the bar below the hotel and sends the message. A couple of hours later he goes down and he sent photos of himself and a girl came and met him, spotted him in the bar, came and met him. She was a bit older, she was nearly 40, pretty girl. And she immediately knew within five minutes that he did not have a clue about anything in Thailand. Now, whether you say she took advantage of him or not, well, time will tell. She had a few drinks with him. They went along maybe 100 meters along the road and got some food. And from there, back to the hotel, to his hotel. She said that she needed money for being his companion. And this seemed to fit him with what the other guys had told him. So he was happy to give her a bit of money. And she said that she'd love to take him and show him Thailand. And she lives in 
a rural district in northern Thailand. She'd love him to meet her parents. And this is just a few hours after meeting. But he had no idea how big Thailand was, what was in store for going outside Pattaya. And he said, yeah, that'd be fantastic. Through the night, no aerobics. The girl quizzed him about this and he said that he doesn't like physical contact with anyone and he'd rather self-medicate. Is that the right word? No. Self. He likes uh, solo aerobics. Morning come. She said, let's check out. Even though he's got this hotel booked for two weeks. You can leave your stuff here and we'll go off and you've got the room. And he's like, okay. She said, we'll get a taxi up to my home. Didn't tell him it was going to be about an 11 hour journey. It was probably going to cost him five or six thousand bar. But every time she mentioned any money to him, he just said, okay, hand him money over. This is a dream catch for this girl. They jumped in the car, taxi. He left some of his stuff. He didn't have much, but he left some in the hotel. They were fine. Told his friends via a message at reception, gone away for a few days, see you soon. <laughs> because they were out. And he, uh, he jumped in the taxi with this strange woman and headed up north to Isan. What is in store for him? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Several hours into the journey, he started to realize, oh, it's a longer journey. <laughs> a few more hours pass, they stop a couple of times. He doesn't really know much about Thai food, but he pretty much can eat anything, but not spicy. So they stop off and, and he's exploring Thai food. That's good that he could eat Thai food. Where he was going, that was all that was there. Hours and hours passed, hours. They eventually, after a 10, 11 hour drive, come into a dusty village, what seemed in the middle of nowhere. What's in store for him? Put some comments below. What do you think is going to happen? Hands. Bless. See you on the next one. Bye for now.